I'm Jen Phillips. Today is Wednesday, June 5th, and here's everything you need to know before you go, and it only takes 60 seconds, so start the clock. A man died in an officer-involved shooting Monday night. LPD says the man rushed an officer at a sober living apartment. That officer is now on paid administrative leave depending on an investigation. And another teen arrested in connection to the fatal shooting of infant of Davla, who went by Adrian. His body was found near the North Loop in I-27, a 16-year-old charged with his murder. Donovan Sanchez charged with tampering with evidence. Lubbock Fire Rescue is in the top 1% of fire departments in the nation. A survey done every five years determines this. They first got these marks in 2018, and they continue that streak this year. Well, tomorrow marks the 80th anniversary of D-Day. This weekend, the Silent Wings Museum is holding a commemoration event to highlight Lubbock's role in that day. Adminis admission is free Saturday and Sunday. And the NCAA track and field championships begin today in Eugene, Oregon. Men today and then women tomorrow. Both teams have a shot at the title. Catch those events throughout the day on ESPN+. So that's going to be something to watch for sure, especially because we do have a chance at the title, but we have to perform well starting right at this moment. So don't miss a single event there. And if you don't want to miss anything else that's going on in the Hub City or the surrounding areas, you know where to go. EverythingLubbock.com has everything you need to know. Also, today is still early voting for that municipal runoff election, and that's one you want to participate in for sure. So head to our website for polling locations and a list of what you'll see on the ballot. But until then, I'm Jen Phillips. Enjoy your Wednesday.